it is not written on their faces, but everyone's victory is a testimony of this. So my plan is a mixture of my life and a revelation of um, God's description of a virtuous woman and a woman to us. Praise God. Amen. So it starts with God's beauty. Um, at the time I was eight, it became so clogged with dates that I left the Jesus loves me, this I know, rhyme that sounded so outdated. I became so frustrated with friendship that I lost trust in my own blood. Somewhere along the line, someone changed my perspective and shifted my view like a So I confided in influences and social media became my Bible. I dated deception, this thing so perfect in fantasy, but in reality it was also the kind of kept my word and waiting for the right time to give my virginity to the right one, yet having all the things in my subconscious. Deception became the man of my dreams while planning his king. He couldn't last long. Neurons clicked, message wire through nerves. Please stop became a death request. Tore up my rules and broke my hymen. Being pushed and turned in positions that barely near existed. The separate moments much as it's fated for became a record on. I left the solo tear and wasted. Living under the hidden pews of my pillow, forgetting I am events not forgotten. It became so obvious that I could no longer put bandage on the wound that needed surgery. It became infected, it spread to every area of my life. And one day, he touched me. And all oh, the joy that fills my soul. And then something happened. He showed me that I'm a new man. I became a woman of his artistic design. My prize was far above rubies, despite my affliction, it humbled me, showing me that just like Paul, the sufferings of our present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. So I tell every woman, you are the perfect verse, a virtue in hand and belonging to grace upon. The real Proverbs 31 woman from whom you call blessed. In the good book, the Bible, there is always a queen, queen for a king. You are queen, you are royalty. You are the rhythm in his blues, you are the force of life. Your mind and personality are your best features. The rest are just icing on the cake that will soon melt away with it waking up air yeah, and breath that you take. You are beautiful, you are smart. You are kind, you are unique. You are worthy of love and affection. You are a dam or what more than the king's golden cup. You are what more than the price tag on your clothes. Regardless of who you think you are, the reality is that you deserve someone who will give up their lives for you. And just like Esther and Martha, they change the world for you. We are created fit for the master's use. So why then do you walk around that by wearing as little as you can is what attracts you to the perfect man? You act like men will love you much more for every inch of body you reveal. But you see, failure is the opportunity to begin again, only this time more wisely. You might not have failed on the scale of which I did, but some failures in life are inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you've lived so cautiously you might not have lived at all, in which case you failed by default. So set a new standard of beauty in the world that says sex and seduction is the only way to find love. Any man who wants your heart will go to Christ knowing he's in his possession. Media has taught us that, the only, that no one cares unless you're pretty or dying. You have to be as fearless as the woman's story you've applauded. Getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how the taste of air feels. God made you different, so you could see the beauty that isn't defined by the media. You are a healer, you are a builder, you are a provider, you don't bother. You are a superwoman, so act like one. but there was a time I was in pain and it's never changed who I was because I understood who I was in Christ. I hope you do one day or I hope you do today. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Call on the fire.